Hey everyone, how you doing? It is me, Tim. Going to be reading Our Very Own Christmas by Annette Lagan and Margie Tillman. Please enjoy. Yes, indeed, Kelly knows all the things that happen on Christmas. For when it gets dark outside, she likes to be merry. And her little brother, Franklin, always gets to be Joseph. And when they are marrying Joseph, they always set out on a long journey to Bethlehem. Well, Joseph, we should be on our way, Mary wouldn't say, just the two of us and our little donkey. And as they have no donkey, a little sheep comes along. Little Joseph would nod. Yes, Mary, let's be on our way, he would say. And so the two of them would start their journey and travel far, very far. Through the dark night, further and further, far, far away, their journey takes them until finally they can see the lights of a city. Behold, it is Bethlehem, Mary would say, awfully relieved. Little Joseph nods his head solemnly and confirms, yes, there it is. Bethlehem. Then he's usually at a loss. What's next, Kelly? He whispered. I would be merry, though, said Kelly. We will, would have to find shelter for the night. The baby will come soon. Oh, yes. Little Joseph said, and he goes, Not, not, do you have room for us? He asked. Then little Joseph shakes his head and sadly announces, No, there is no room. Knock on the next door, Mary says, says Mary. So little jo Joseph goes again, Not, knock, do you have a room for us? And again, he shakes his head sadly and, and says, No, there is no room here either. Let's try back there as well, Kelly tells him. And for the third time, he goes, Knock, knock, do you have room for us? But again, he shakes his head and very sad says, no, there is no room. At that point, Mary cries out desperately, there is no room for us anywhere. And little Joseph never re remembers what he is supposed to say next. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, Mary whispered to him softly. And little Joseph explains with feelings, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, and it sounds very, very sad. Here, Mary get, gets up. Yet yeah, we are lucky. A nice lady said to us, There is room for you in our barn. It's right there in the back. And little Joseph nods. Let's go, Kelly, he says. But I would be Mary, Kelly says firmly. Let's go, cries little Joseph. And he takes Mary by the hand and leads her to the barn. There are animals in the stable. Hi there, ox. Hello, dear sheep. Little Joseph greets them. And little Mary yawns. I would, I would be so tired. 
I would lay myself down on the straw, she says, but the animals would have kept me warm. Little Joseph nods and lays down as well. Suddenly, Mary jumps, and then later I would have shouted, Joseph, our baby, our baby Christ is here. And now little Joseph gets to hold baby Christ in his arms. We will name him Jesus, says Mary. Gently kiss the newborn baby Christ. Little Joseph knows what's next. There's a big star in the sky shining ever so brightly, he says, and points upward. Little Mary nods. Yes, and all the angels would sing, she says, because they are rejoicing that little baby Jesus is born. Little Joseph sits down. There will be visitors, many, many visitors. He is very positive about that. And there it goes. Knock, knock. Who, who is there, little Joseph asks in a deep voice. When Mary explains, it's the angels. They will be spreading the news everywhere that our Christ child was born. Larry, Little Joseph nods. That is good. Bye-bye, angels. Oh, then he has to think. And what happens now, he asked. And Mary whispers, knock, knock. Oh, yes, little Joseph explains and quickly goes, knock, knock. Welcome, dear shepherds, Mary explains. What beautiful presents you bring for our baby Jesus. Lovely soft wool, tasty milk, and even a little lamb. Thank you very much. Mary was barely finished when there is another knock. Knock, 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 knock. Little Mary is very supply surprised. Who might this be, she asked. Little Joseph thought he knows. It's the three kings. Hello. Little Mary explains, Oh, you have brought such beautiful presents. Gold, Franklin scents, and something else. Little baby Jesus will be ever so happy. Little Joseph nods and whispers, And now... Very content, little Mary says, then everybody would go home again. You, Joseph, and I, we would be sleeping in the barn with only the stars shining brightly above us, for the angels are taking good care of sweet little baby Christ. Super, little Joseph says. So there you see, says Kelly, pointing down her blue scarf, all the things that happen on Christmas. Hmm, Franklin says happily. And tomorrow we will go to Bethlehem again. Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed our very own Christmas. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, and I want to say thanks for watching. Y'all take care, and have a good one, and blog is over.